prayed, yeah. goes in favor of Gambit. And beautiful utility by Nats, the Astro Stars as well, were over by a main, which has given them all the knowledge that they don't have to go back, check anything behind them. Moving forward is all they have to look at. And Dapo is going to be able to find another one as Ethan pops out with a wide swing. And two more members of 100 Thieves there to see what they can do and see what's in mid. Ooh, Shados, you're going to be able to dodge a nade, wow. but you can't dodge that shock dart. Pops him right in the face, down to 10 health as the fight for the middle of the map continues. Excellent paranoia. But again, there's nothing off of that, right? Steel drops. Hiko has to reposition. Doug, Doug Gambit hasn't even pushed to a site yet. They are just mm -hmm. finding 100 Thieves, peeking everywhere they can. Now finally committing towards left. A. After they know Long is clear, they're going to send the spike there to be safe. But they don't even have to do this yet. They can still mill about. They have full control of the map and pistol. Eco's going to drop as well. Nitro's left alone early on. The nice thing for him is that all members of Gambit are weak. Yeah. Uh, but this would be a pretty tall order. He's got nothing but a classic as well. Oh. Well, he's already gotten two. He's got three on the round, 17 health. He's going to have to reposition things just a tad as the spike continues to tick away. They see him drop down. Not able to, well, was able to isolate the gunfight. Not able to land the shots. Red Guard cleans him up. It's going to be a hot oh, heavy hit I mean, towards Crow, baby. Yeah, we talked about them going slow, but this time they've dialed up. They've dialed up the speed. They've dialed up the pressure, and they've gotten some progress. Naps was able to take out the seal, but Asuna trading it out. Hiko looking to hold things down on the back of the side as Defo's going to fall as well. Nitro yeah. and Hiko seem to be doing just fine. But what can Shados do? He's going to have to challenge Hiko. The Tracer is giving away Hiko's position. Down to certainly low health, and it's a classic. Who wins the round? Go up top, has the Blade Storm, and this time not punished by Asuna. They're able to get across the middle of the map, but Asuna going hunting is spotted. Nats, the flash was there. It was beautiful as Nats gets cleaned up. Little assistance from the Sky Flash. They get themselves out of the A main area in a beautiful push by Defo here, Doug. This is the Blade Storm out. This could literally separate everything 100 Thieves has worked on so far this round. Ooh, Asuna. But, uh, man, they, they just react so well. But Defo wins out with the Blade Storm, goes up Still top. There. Not going to spot anyone there. But they've gotten back behind enemy lines. The thing is, 100 Thieves, they've rotated down. And we've got a little flip of the map, right? Now they're the ones being that are flanking Gambit as they work towards B Garage. The drone is going to clear things out. But again, thank you to the observers, Paul pointing that out. Steel and Ethan are playing a little ring around the rosy. One drops, the second one's there. They've got him tagged. And they've got nothing but a, a sheriff. Yeah, there's nothing doing there. The spike's going to drop. Defo still has that blade storm, but he doesn't have the spike. He finds himself in a 1v4. Oh, reset. Make that a 1v3. 30 seconds left. Reset. Okay, make that a 1v2. Defo manages to pick up the spike as well. Understands he goes there. Ethan's going in there as well. He goes into the grass. Defo good for four. Looking to work the ace with the blade storm. Hiko. He's got a Util. Defo does it. My goodness. The ace to kick off the series for Gambit. See here what's going to happen for the rest. 100 Thieves now taking a little more space than usual as they move up. Now they tend to aggress. Ethan and Asuna coming up big. It was beautiful. It was a play. They've got Seekers now that have followed up as well, but the Paranoia swinging off of that. They were able to establish mid-map control, even cleaning up the player that was down in Sub Rosa off of the, off of the peak from Top Cat and from Arch. There was just so much pressure applied there in the middle at that moment. Gambit had no way to respond. Now Nats is in a 1v5. Again, surely not a little deja vu. He stops the shenanigans this time around, have a better time as they go here again. You've got Asuna and Ethan who are both starting to show up, but can they hold fast in time? Nitro's already good for two. Looking for the third? No. Chronicle cleans him up. Oh. I know exactly. Leave things in a 3v2. The Neural Theft is going to come out as well. Asuna with the op. The spike, spike goes down. Planted. No challenge going to be coming through that cage quite yet. And there's a second one as well. Hunter's Fury on to Ethan. He's going to get tagged up. Surely... I mean, I guess they could go for it here, but you've got an op and you've got a, a rifle. Maybe you just play for exits. This is such a brutal spot for 100 Thieves as Gambit, as Gambit have like fully established control of the site. They're hunkered down in there. There's no way they're getting exactly. out. Right? Like, this is a beautiful play from Gambit. A really great job. So I, going in, I was like, four strong on the site. They sent all five in. There are, every angle is being watched from highway to stairs. Now, can they make it out? Is the question of oh. a lap? From Asuna, of course, but Nats will find it out with his Phantom. On to Hiko and on to Steel. And, okay, well, that's going to give him away now. <laughs> the Seeker missed it. The knife does not, but it looks like they want to go towards A. Defo down to 62. Oh, oh my Ethan's gosh. in a great spot, able to get three. Defo left alone. You've got Chronicle towards Y, but Defo, Defo's good for two. Chronicle got one on a Nitro as well. How is this round being flipped the other way? It's just Asuna in a 1v2. Asuna's got the ob too. 
Spike not down yet! Austin misses! The Shock Chronicle does not! And they haven't had to use too much utility per round if it's just been firefight. So that has helped. Defo comes up big again, Doug! The cloud burst, the flash, and the swing off of that. Defo takes space away. They know Nitro's down there. He's gonna get cleaned up, not without Nitro taking that along the way. But Gambit... Well, I, I hesitate to say Gambit because it's Defo who's gotten onto the site. Defo has control. The rest of Gambit is just now arriving to the party. The spike should be able to go down. What sort of a retake attempt do we have out of Hunter Thieves? Look at this Defo, the man who's usually hiding in the shadows on Operator, right in your face. He actually gets oh. all sorted out. Back to the off, not in the spot he wants to be. Could the zero point be the play? Oh, up close and personal. Steel's able to get it, but Redgar's able to trade him back. Steel left alone in a 1v2. Wow. Steel gets cleaned up as well. Gambit are winning crucial gunfights. Riv, show anything, and then they'll adjust. There's, there's just too much time in the round, in my opinion, to be investing in ultimate like that. Another Seeker going towards spawn. That was followed by Redgar's. He is real close now inside B by himself. And that's going to be a Boathouse Nitro. How big of a play is this? Asuna and Nitro are able to get one apiece. Shados in a 1v4. Excellent setup. Asuna goes up top. Shados yanks him down, but Hiko cleans things up. So out of Gambit's book, but this early pressure. Asuna, the flash was there. A little friendly fire. They're able to push that off. And Asuna's down to 25 health. And Ethan's already dropped. My word. That's so fast with that. See? Hard angles. You cannot do much. If you're trying to classic through a wall, you're getting hit by with a ghost. They're going to start getting back. It doesn't look like they'll be able to get too much more positioning off of that. They're happy with what happened in mid lane on the side of Gambit. And they're just going to hold those positions. Three strong. Good luck getting through that crossfire if anything were ever to try. And I think it's going to be an NB execute, but I don't believe 100 Thieves are going to try too much. No, uh, together. Yeah, I know. I think the tricky thing, too, is you've got so much presence mid on the side of Gambit that even if you do make your presence known towards B coming out of Garage, like there's just easy help there very quickly. Yeah. So you kind of have to flip it. The nice thing for them is you still have 35 seconds. You can readjust. It looks like they're leaning back towards A. Gambit are furiously trying to get back quickly to help out. Left. So this, this should at least be a spike plan for 100 Thieves. Checking everything. They're like, there may still be a rat. There may still be a rat. This is already impressive that they're able to make it across the map. A bit of extra money in the hands now of 100 Thieves as they're looking to hold strong. All of them in the site. This could make it tough. And you can see Gambit saying, where's the flank? Where's it coming from? To their surprise, Steel is posted up on the site. Uh, not going to be sniffing anything out this time around. And the approach is going to come in from up in heaven and from tree. Steel's already been cleaned up. Hiko's trying to play Last down in hell. And it's going to have to be some hell of a heroic play to make this happen. And that might be exactly what it was. Hiko was able to get two, but Nats is three. Kills on the rounds. Would want to do getting in. This flank's going to be huge, Doug. The timing! Oh, Shadow's good word. for two. Not able to get three. Ethan cleans him up. And now you've only got 10 seconds left. This is going to be a scurry to get the spike left. down on the site. Asuna. Trying to get it down, and he does. A 3v4 in favor of Gambit. Nats gets Beautiful. cleaned up at the hands of Ethan. Remember, this is still a bonus, man. This is this is so labored for 100 Thieves. The Seekers is going to get some space, but with the wall there. Knock, I mean, knock. Yeah, what do, you, what do you got? Slokes. The Seekers wear out. Door's not broken just yet. 100 Thieves trying to make this. The tactical D and Gambit's about to hit every point at once. Wall pops out. Ethan gets it. Beta's Defo tries to swing over. He gets cleaned up. Defo's able to get one oh on to steal. And Gambit word. take another one. BDA attack, and I should say B defense, as they would swap sides there. Shado still getting pressure to zero point hitting him as it goes no out. That's going to be the command down as well, and Steel just gets dropped. Dude, they can't get in. Like, you shall not pass. That's exactly what Gambit are calling out right now. There's been no window oh my for them word. to work and absolutely be a dog. Complete oh slugfest boy. back on the site. 100 Thieves were able to trade out a couple. Austin is already good for two. Looking to land the third. No. Chronicle cleans that back up. Ethan's going to fall as well. Members of 100 Thieves continue to fall. A 2v2 here as the spike is huddled back in their side. And after 40 seconds of chaos, 45 seconds of chaos. Hot and heavy real quick. And now the plant going down B for Gambit. 30 seconds left. Chronicle. Planted. All right, so the spike is down. Dart cleared out. Oh, does ping. Oh, yeah, it did. You're right. So it did tag onto Chronicle. They have a decent idea of where he is, but they don't know where Defo is. They know he's close because Chronicle did not look up to kill that on his ping. 
Ahead. One, not start. Enough. Oh, Defo. Ooh. Eco gets messed up as well. Quick one for one. Everybody coming from the same side here. Looks like it's actually going to be three on the top side dropping off of this catwalk, dog. They're going to try to just smother what's going down underneath. You're expecting one, but here comes the cavalry. Steel up top. Austin is already good for it. Redgar. Redgar. No, Redgar. Not like this with all this info. The weapon upgraded. He's good for one. Okay, he does get cleaned oh. up. Nitro gets the kill and the def and we're and we're seeing some of it, right? The drone, tip of the spear. Yeah, Austin is going to be able to take space away. Ethan's going to be able to take space away across mid as well. And that's a big opening kill. We haven't been able, we haven't seen that very much out of Ethan. Natch drops first. Three ultimates on both sides. There's the Empress coming out. We'll see if they can make this work. Nitro just misses the wall, and he will be taken down. The Shadows traded by Asuna. Punished. Punisher is coming out from Hiko. Oh my goodness, that's a ton of info, but he's going to be able to get any kills off of it. Asuna is. It causes enough havoc, right? Back towards uh, Yellow Box, and it's enough to get him a kill. A couple of years dropping out. They know where he is. The Empress is online. As Asuna works and thinks around, he's good for it. Shados running for the fences, but no, it's actually Shados who's able to get one of his own. Ooh. A little dueling Empress is here. Shados stays alive. Still has the leader. Doesn't have the spike. His one way is giving him some trouble. Yeah, and it, the... I guess the benefit is that there is no flank, right? There is no pitch. Everything is in front of him. He gets one. Uh oh. Shados. Shados, uh -oh. good for two. He's already got four. Is he going to get another A? Six bullets. He's going to have to reload. 30 seconds left. Hiko. Dancing around. Hiko's been so good historically in these moments. But when you've got Shados who's doing things like this, 22 seconds left. Hiko's dark gives up that position. Shados! Shados not able to land the shots! Hiko, I mean, a lifeline. They're they're living on nothing. There, you've got Steel with the lockdown online. The thing is, you've got three ultimates on the side of Gambit as well, and they're, they're significant ultimates, right? The Viper's pit. <laughs> and then, if those three ultimates are not enough, well, then you've got Defo uh, as well on the side of Gambit, and he's just continuing to pile it on. Can't wait to look at the first blood stats coming in here. It's, it seems like 100 Thieves is always working a member down so fast no into the round again through mid. Time and time again. Gambit just waltzes up mid. While Ethan's trying to push forward, he's going to get cleaned up. Nitro is now working his way up mid alongside Steel. For 100 Thieves here. In this, in this 2v5, right? Like, make sure you don't not go for it, and it seems to be working. Of course, as I say that, Nitro drops. So Seal's left there alone, and Nats, you called the flank just a couple of seconds ago. He's looking for a drone. Drone's down. Or the drone is still up for now. If he decides to use it, look like that might be the play towards mid. He goes waiting on it, but Chronicle takes down Steel. And 100 Thieves isn't even convinced that this is going to be the A hit. They're still decently spread out. Anchor on B, Hiko mid, Anchor A, and Hiko gets dropped by Redgar. He was mid. And the thing is, you're right. They, they weren't convinced that it's a hit A, and for good reason. Right? Like, the thing is... It's almost like Hundred Thieves know that you can't trust the first no. pump fake. Or the second. Or the second or the third. <laughs> and and at that moment, right, like Gambit are so far in that you think you gotta wait till the third pump fake. Right. They drop the Hail Mary on the first and all of a sudden like crap. I true. Or you got it. Oof. standing. It's tough when you're getting a family photo from Gambit as you turn the corner, they're all looking right at you. Into the next round. Well, Gambit doesn't necessarily look like they're going hunting, oh, but dear. if things play out just right, Shados might get a shot. Is all. You still got Defo's Blade Storm, which has been pretty good <laughs> historically. And for 100 Thieves, all you have left is the from the shadows. Defo going in aggressive. What? They strike at an instant, but Asuna and Ethan are keeping these close. Defo equalizing things back to a 2v2. Eco's walled off. He doesn't have any U to left right now. He's only rocking a Guardian. Nitro only has a Spectre. And Chronicle gets a spike down. Walling off Snowman. You just see Defo jump through his little lane that he had protected by the Viper wall, able to take on Asuna. Hiko, though, with the Guardian. And Nitro coming in with a fan or a Spectre. Can they make it happen? Chronicle, yeah, he's going to get cleaned up. You asked if they could make it happen. They can. Nitro gets the last one. So over towards A. For good reason, we saw them execute very well on this side against Savant Liberty. But as we've discussed, this is a, a bit of a different beast. Uh, that you're facing. Defo's going to get pushed off. Shados is not, as he cleans up Asuna. And the thing is, Riv, that's in pistols. Yeah. That's their win condition, right? It's Asuna. It it's rain of popping off. It's making making chaos happen. Not a factor this time around. Eco plans. Trying to get back for the shock darts if he can get into position for these. 3v5 situation, Doug. And we see the drone come out and all of Gambit hop into sight here. They're pushing their way through. Oh, the nice my thing is, dart. Yeah, that dart showed One them everything. Remaining. But... 
Hundred Thieves were able to get a couple. It's just steel though. He's got the Sheriff. Shados has been spotted. Nope, Shados' ghost is better than the Sheriff this time around as he's going to get the defuse as well. They're going to have to fight their way through the setup that Gambit have set up, and it's all coming off of the flank Ooh, from Nats. Nats Here they go. They're starting to push out. Yes, huge kill from Ethan to clean up Nats. Now they have some room to breathe. The push is going to have to come in, but they can retreat further back. Excellent response from 100 Thieves. Excellent. At the hands. Oh, he was playing in and out of the... Viper, you tell him, sorry. So the spike made its way down long. It's going to pull back, actually. So again, switching it. Yep. Take a little of uh, your opponent's own medicine and deliver it back to him. One site after the other. Let's see if they're going to be able to get this. They know nothing is pushed. Now the turret's activated. At least to that right corner. They'll be checking everything here. 14 seconds left. Steel is deep within the site, but he's not on catwalk. I think he wanted that. Doesn't oh, matter. Steel good for one onto Defo. That could have been problematic. You also see Redgar's going to be pushing in from the middle of the map. Redgar good for it onto Steel. He gets his. As Shados is still trying to work his way in as well. They haven't gotten past the defenses, right? Like they're no closer to getting onto the site than they were just a couple of moments ago before those kills. Now they're going to recollect. They're going to get a bit more space to work with, but Hiko still has a shock dart. Asuna is able to clean up Redgar. Shados is all that's left. It looks like he's going to get away, save that Vandal, yeah. carry it on into the next round. So for 100 Thieves for now, they continue to avoid all that area of the map. You've got Shados back towards Snowman, continuing to try to apply pressure as Ethan has his hands full. Excellent paranoia there. He's going to have to drop. That's a big kill on Shados. Get him offline as Asuna looking to continue to work things, looking to continue to make things happen. Steel's good for one as well. Members of Gambit oh, continue no. to drop like flies. But Ethan, oh, Ethan spotted Defo, but he's going to back up. It's just Defo. He's got the Blade Storm. He's in a 1v3, though. And the spike continues to tick away. I don't know that, I don't know if he's going to be able to get into this. You hear it continue to spit tick. You hear it continue to speed up. Now using off utility. Utility towards A with a movement oh, towards B. Shados backs up. They get a leader out of that as well. So a few things going in the favor of 100 left. Thieves. But Gambit still feeling comfortable about what's going on. And they call the B exec. Oh, Chronicle goes ahead and invests the Hunter Siri to try to tag him. I mean, they were right, right? Like the Spidey Senses were there. They understood where they were, but they weren't able to tag anything up. 100 Thieves managed to get onto the site as, ne as Nitro, excuse me, gets the spike down. Asuna. Ah, forget it. Asuna didn't even have to do anything. Steel was able to take care of two of his own. The Leer swings out. The shots are delivered, but Defo's op able to take care of Steel. 1v4. Make that a 1v3. And surely you don't <laughs> challenge him here. Surely not. They know where he's going, though. You see the pings actually coming out on yep. your minimap from the side of 100 Thieves. I loved the pressure from Steel coming in through Kitchen this round. 100 Thieves is trying to work off the ball now. And what? Gross. At no shot. A moment of silence. No shot. Oh. I'm pretty good coming into round 22 here with that first frag on their side. Now 100 Thieves have to commit with only 20 seconds left. They don't really have very many options. Redgar Ooh. playing just around the smoke. Shadows has been cleaned up. Redgar's going to get messed up as well. This Chronicle plays up top. They're all just huddled together. Yeah. We've got Nats who's working around. Nitro's able to clean that up. Back off the flank, so there's no pressure coming in from there. Additionally, Nitro's going to continue to take space away, but Shados on the res. Shados is pretty damn good. And he's back v on line. Chronicle drops. Spike continuing to tick away. Op shot goes just a bit wide. Nitro does have, or excuse me, Hiko does have a shot dart. And there it is, no longer on line. Hiko, Hiko. We get one piece. Ethan cleans the last oh one up gosh. as well. Oh, baby, we're tied at 11. Nitro ultimate ready. Once they do get in, Shados could turn it if he gets in with the Empress and has a nice flank for himself, but he's coming from the front side of the site. And it looks like that's going to be the case for everyone. No. Chronicle's going to have the late flank. How does this work for 100 Thieves? Spike going down. Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't gotten it down. Oh. But he, they may not have to as they're just getting kills across the board. Whoa. Yeah, forget the spike. Just get the kills. 100 Thieves at map point. Looking to put one round away from pushing us to map three. So at least he doesn't have any advantage out of getting this orb. So he's not tempted to go grab it. No! Uh, cast a curse. Uh, as he moves up, Nitro goes down. Nats is there. Nice bite because he knows he's not getting out of this one safe as the team's trying to rotate over for some help. He does get the heal. No, they wait off. Shock dart out of Hiko's able to clean that up. So numbers equalized at four apiece. As of course, as I say that, 100 Thieves get the numbers advantage. Redgar has dropped. Three members remain on the side of Gambit as that's been equalized. Kills trading back and forth. 
as Ethan gets the spike down. Shadoff's playing around the smoke. Shadoff swings Shados. out, able to dismiss away, grabs the land, grabs the kill, excuse me, onto Ethan. Is now Gambit have the numbers advantage? The remaining members of 100 Thieves huddled up. Back behind yellow. Not a ton of you to work with. I mean, you've got the, the shock dart, but Eco's playing pretty tight here, Asuna. Able to clear out the dart. Sonar's up. Live burst, not be able to space space. Shadoff's good for one. Eco. Eco. Trades one out. No, oh, just narrowly not able to get the second. Vigo. He doesn't pitch again. He's able to get a second one. Eco, 24 health. Running for the fences. This Chronicle has plenty of health. Chronicle on the tap. He, he's got to get Bros it to Bros don't happier. fake. He's got to get it to happen. Oh my Eco God. swings out. He gets. Clear up. Chronicle, and now they so they understand they weren't able to get into B, so they're gonna come right back into steal the shorty. Good for one with a flash in his face, but that's all it was good for. They cleared him out. Now you've got you've got presence to understand, right? Like they could be heading back towards A through ropes, or they could be pulling back. A tricky spot left. to be in, and that's why you see 100 Thieves, they're just playing back, right? Like they're gonna play back towards spawn, give up a little bit of retail, and that's fine because you're still gonna be in a position to retake if possible. Defo feeling a little pressure. I like the cam. They're going to have to turn around and look at it, but it's just knowing who's coming to the site. Another gravity well. Beautiful by Nitro to just slow everything down right now. Still an Astro form protected by two. Defo is able to get the spike down, but Ethan wow. swings around with two. Asuna on the, on the flank. He's in a great spot. They're going to try to work in towards B. Asuna's on the flank. There he is. One, two. No, not able to get a third. The Vandal from Shados is able to take care of him, but they try to get on the spike. He goes flanking Ooh. around. Oh. Nats was in his face. Nats good for a second. He still has to get the spike down, though. Nitro in that 1v2. He's flanking around. And remember, this is a Spectre, right? He's only got a Spectre going into a Vandal and a Phantom. He's been so good on Astra up until this point. Now, mind you, it's only been three rounds, but he's been pretty damn good up until this point. But can he do it again? Can he break the economy of Gambit? No, he cannot. 100 Thieves. Difference, a heavy presence A the last couple of rounds. This time they're working mid. Asuna gets a Blade Storm online. But Ethan's already been popped. No advantage that way. Just try to continue to work the middle of the map. And again, as you mentioned in the previous round, Riv, Gambit have been working mid, right? Like, yeah. they've been able to get some space. They've been able to work their way up, and the kills have been traded, yes. Ouch. That has not been safe, though. Great trade. This is what they look for. Chronicle going to Viper Bite down, and it looks like they control A a bit as the team starts to rotate all the way back over. Spike's going to get picked up here by Redgar, I believe, on the way in. Nitro has a weapon upgrade. Oh, but Defo Swart goes wise to it. Defo's in trouble. Chronicle able to clean up steel. Asuna cleans up Defo. Wow. Chronicle! Chronicle good for three. Asuna goes up top. Asuna's not going to get anything with that blade storm as Redgar pulls him out of the sky. He's in a spot to make a play here. Oh, yep. The swing out. Ooh. It was dicey, but he landed the shots. Yeah. Sun was in his eyes. <laughs> able to clean up Shados there. The so spike is rotating, taking the scenic crowd all the way back towards A, where they have gotten some room, but Asuna is repositioned. He was across the middle of the map early on. Now he's working his way back. You have to keep an eye on that, so as he's working the middle of the map as well. They've got to pull off. Asuna tries to get away. Oh. Excellent gravity well. Asuna missing the first shot, but he lands the shots with the classic. Gets cleaned up on the way out. A parting gift, if you will, as Nitro drops as well. Ethan. Just red guard in a 1v3. Ethan lands the shots. We're tied up at three. It forces 100 Thieves into a position where they're going to have to fight their way through what's going on. Chronicle. Oh my gosh, the swing from Ethan. But Defo's judge, of all things, gets the kill on his steal. Nat's playing around. No, he's going to get cleaned up. Red guard in a 1v3. Ethan on the defuse. He at least gets it to half. Oh, oh the my god. Is there. Red oh guard. My he's going to have to push it. Nitro has to stick it. Nitro wins the round. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how close these rounds are just coming down to the 1v1 fake from B. You can see Redgar throwing smokes down, pushing back Asuna to find a different position, and he's going to get Asuna pushed all the way back. Do they decide to go on A now? Because 100 Thieves has not bit to a rotation. Oh! Redgar's able to land the shots onto Asuna. Ethan's going to get cleaned oh. up as well. Damn, Nitro. Going to have to anchor down the site. Nitro good for two. Buys time, but Chronicle trades him out. Hiko up top in heaven. Steel's going to be playing around as well. Hiko cleans that up. Steel's going to be fran down, flanking a. around. So the spike is down. This is a brutal spot for Redgar. He's got the op that he picked up off of Asuna. He's going to trade it out. My gosh, he's going for the win. He's going to drop down. Waiting to see where he can find Steel's playing off site. The flash is there, but he flashed Hiko as well. Drops things down to a 1v1 with four seconds, but is he going to have enough time? That's going to be just, uh, just around the corner. Oh he does get the spike down. Red one. He's got you, Till. Surely he's got, he's got the Cosmic Divide too, but surely he doesn't use it in this instance. You're right, no armor. Steel. 
Waiting for time! Steel oh wins the shots my. for 100 Thieves! Still a lot to be learned from Gambit, but 100 Thieves so far. Maybe not map one or first half of map two, but they are living up to the hype now, and they're picking up right where they left off. The break doesn't seem to have caused much of a difference at all. As often as anybody gets second, make Whoa. that three and dashes away. And look at the amount of assists that Steel is getting. Oh, oh boy! Timing, timing. Bad timing to look. Hiko gets taken out by the one way he set up himself. Shots from Chronicle. Almost match every member he needs. All right, Nats. I hear you're pretty freaking good at this game. Anybody until he's quite deep, which gives him 1v1 angles to work off of. Oh, oh wow. Now, Zero point comes out. He is one point away from I'm having the neural theft, out. right? So get that on the on line. All right, never mind. Cross or not? Oh, what a what? shot. From Chronicle, very unexpected. A nice double up from Gambit here on A ramp. Hostiles cleared out, and now 100 Thieves have to think twice about whether they want to go A. Because they haven't really, they haven't gained really any ground that way. Good bit of spams here, seeing if anybody will waste the mutil or make a mistake just for the time being. But a lot of respect being given here on this bonus round coming in, or I should say, second round coming in. Ethan, do. Ethan, not holding back. Whoa! Nats has gone big. Chronicle has as well. Steel alone in this one before we talk about economy being flipped, right? Be off of situations like this. And the thing is, the remaining members of Gambit have all upgraded weapons. Nats is playing so patiently, he's not going to swing out. He's not going to give Steel the chance to punish that. You're just going to wait, make him come to them. That's my favorite. Wow. Moments like this have made Nats as famous as he is. That's what's given him the reputation that he has. Can he do it again? No. Ethan cleans that up right off the bat. Extinguishes the possibility of that and should be able to get the spike down. Yasuna backing up. He's going to get away with his life. Excellent take from 100 Thieves. Yeah, able to thwart the kind of knowledge from the cam. Hiko. Cavalry approaches. Shados takes down Hiko, but he's got a lot of work to do. As the Seekers come back at him, they have eyes on the prize up top. Defo looking to make an upshot towards Elbow, but they'll go for Vandals here to start. They're going to go for it with the time on the clock. Switch things out. Not a ton for Util. They turn the flash. Austin is in a great cross, but no, he's wow. not able to land the shots in the cloud burst. They're continuing to push it. Nitro, Ethan trying to hold the site back. Last Ethan good for one. Ethan not able to get the second. No, the clip runs dry. Viper's Pit used across the middle of the map. But here we go. You see 100 Thieves. They want to go aggressive. They want to go hot and heavy. And they're going to use the no command as the tip of the spear. They're going to push Defo off. Redgar spotted Steel, so he's down. But they should be able to protect him at least for a little bit. He goes able to clear one out. Yeah, look at him. Defend, defend Steel. They get the res online and they get the spike down. Counter Viper's Pit, too. Zero point doesn't catch too much on the score. Here comes Nats from the outside. Gonna give himself a gate up link and now figure out where all of 100 Thieves is. Ken, Gambit, bite down. And they're all playing in the Viper's Pit. Asuna dancing around. Gonna get tagged up a little bit and start to play off site. See your members of Gambit slowly start to push their way forward. Defo going up top. Ethan gets cleaned up. Hiko playing in it as well. Asuna's in a good spot for it, but no, he gets traded out. Hiko. Hiko in a 1v3, but they're so weak. Hiko, they're so weak. Oh my God. Hiko, they're so weak. He go just on the other side, the tap. No, he's gonna fake it out and that might give his position away, but he go, he go does it again. A Red Bull clutch, a 4K for 100 Thieves. Incredibly pivotal round coming in. Just re just actually recalled the one from heaven, but dropped the one in defender spawn. The Cosmic Divide is gonna come out as well. Nats has spotted Ethan. Oh my goodness, he saw everything. Everything's in front of him. Looking like they're gonna try to pop flash. Do the Cosmic Divide. Nats gets cleaned up instantly. Nitro's able to get one on Shados as well. 100 Thieves have full control of the site. The remaining members of Gambit are just now showing up, and it could potentially prove to be a pretty one-dimensional attempt, attempt yeah. at a retake because Steel's in a position to clean out everything that's coming in through Heaven, but Redgar creeping his way forward. Steel just on the other side. That should give the cue. Redgar cleans up Steel. Hiko backing up. Spike continuing to tick away. 4v3 still in favor of 100 Thieves as they counter with a with a cosmic divide of their own. Ethel, oh, oh no, just a little flashed. shallow, just a little shallow, but he gets a kill anyway. Hiko just behind him is able to spot Defo. He gets cleaned up. Hiko and Nitro in a 1v2 against oh. Redgar. He's up in heaven, he's got the op, but yeah. he doesn't have his time. And really what Gambit don't have is time at this point. They're running oh. out of it. 100 Thieves get to match point, gets a series point. 
Well, the interesting thing is, I mean, 100 Thieves are in a bit of a weird buy too, right? You've got three Spectres and two Phantoms. So it's not like they're coming at this from full strength, but Seeker's coming out. They work towards Heaven, they work towards backside. A couple of early kills coming up from Gambit, Defo, and Redgar lighting up the kill feed. Seal hasn't gotten much closer, but Hiko trades two. Nitro gets one as well, but that's all it's going to be. Gambit, they get to eight, and for now, they fend off the loss. And they've got to swing out from Rogue. They've got to swing out from Rogue, but Hiko stops it! He stops it! He, he absolutely stops the aggressive push that was coming in from Rogue, that would have blown up the mid play. Huge coming out of Hiko. Astra Star is going into the back of B to try to deter. You can still see one set there by Nitro. And that's not the way they're going to be going. Viper's oh Pit boy. already used towards B, so they're going to start heading towards A, and Defo makes a very close shot on Steel to back up for another one. Oh, oh my god, she hits word. another through the cloud burst. He might be able to get a third. No, just misses. Ethan cleans that up, but Shados is there. Shados has shown up at just the right time to stop that as well. Things look so good, but now Nitro's left alone in a 1v2. He's got the spike. Shados is weak. Chronicle's going to show up, but he's going to show up late. Now it's on Nitro. For him to have heroics, yes, it's been Hiko a couple of times, but can Nitro provide the same spark? Does he have the same gene? Spike continuing to tick down. Cosmic Divide has come out as well. Nitro dancing his way around. Defuse is going to be quiet. Yeah, and he's yeah he's not going to hear it. Wrapping his oil all the way around. Shados has started it. They're not looking. And Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it. Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it. And Nitro doesn't know. Shados steals the defuse away right under his nose to make things happen. And the grit that Gambit have shown, refusing to go away. Refusing to fold. We're now in a position to really push 100 Thieves to the brink. And oh my goodness, Nats. Anchoring down the site, he was able to get one. Able to get a second as well. There's still two rifles and a Spectre in the hands of 100 Thieves. Ult's gonna come out as well. Nitro gets the spike down and Hiko gets ult. 3v2 situation. This could bring 100 Thieves to knock out Defo. Shados once again, the two alive to bring it back into Gambit's favor. Defo's got an op, but we've seen that he has no problem taking these up close and personal op fights. Shados drops down, nothing doing. They're all huddled up in the Viper's Pit. There's nobody going to be playing around Garage as well. They're all huddled in on the site. They're playing it tight. Defo goes up top. He may get a spot on the steel. No, steel swings out. Defo's not able to land the shot. Steel 